Oh my god, V2.3 is gonna have co-op? What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Now, lads, it's a bit of a warning, right? There's a bit of sarcasm in that in that intro, so apologies for that. But I am feeling a little bit grumpy today, right? I'm not in the Christmas spirit just yet because I am dying sick. You'll probably hear it in my throat. Apologies. I I, I don't know, man. I sound like I'm like pure raspy voice. My throat is red raw. I find it hard to, to breathe and to swallow, so... Yeah, no jokes, please, in the comments. But anyway, look, this is going to be a slightly different video, man. It's going to be a bit of a rant because I'll be honest, I'm just getting pissed off, man. I'm kind of getting pissed off with everything, right? I'm getting pissed off that we've got no official comms uh, of what's going to be coming in V2.3. I'm getting a little bit pissed off that the community are kind of like eating each other up, eating each other alive, you know, fake rumors, clickbait, like, you know, fake engagement, like, you know, oh, this is coming tomorrow, that's coming tomorrow, and then when it comes tomorrow, there's no, like, you know, holding their hands up and saying, like, yeah, I was wrong, or there's no saying, like, yeah, I made it up just to get views, it's all just like, oh, they must have changed it, it's like, look, right, all I'm gonna say is, all these rumors kind of started way back when, in May, seven months ago, a lot has changed since then, the game is behind development-wise, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to see that they're not where they want to be with the game. Like, they're just not. Like, you can see by the modes they have, the content that they have. Obviously, the focus is on Dream Team and on cards and content. And I think they've done a good job in that, if that's what you're into. Like, there are people out there that have never heard of Master League, never had heard of Edit Mode, and they don't care. They don't care whether it comes or not, ever. But that's the new fan base. You know, there's a lot of free-to-play players, casual players that are playing this that don't care if Master League ever comes because they've never heard of it. This tweet from May 31st, 2022, lads, right? This is the one that we're going to focus on. You can see here that this thread contains all the information. And this is what people are hoping is set in stone from a, a tweet thread from the 31st of May, right? Because we've had no update on this thread, you know, which is, you know, obviously ridiculous. But it says here that some editing functions will be available in winter 22. Cross-platform will be available in winter 22. And paid DLC to add more club teams and leagues will be... To be used in leagues and club teams will be available at the end of 2022, right? So the word here is kind of very confusing. And people are like literally, you know, putting this and setting this in stone. And it's like, no, no, they said winter 2022. That's 10 days left to get out edit mode. Edit mode's definitely coming tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be the last update before the new year. And then we're going to be into 2023. And that'll mean that they'll have missed it. And, oh, you know... I mean, guess what, right? Edit mode, if they had edit mode ready for tomorrow, right? Trust me on this. Anything that they can have to bring back legacy Pez fans, right? Even though they are outnumbered 10 to 1 or maybe 50 to 1 now. And I'm talking about myself here as well, right? Even though we're outnumbered 10 to 1. Guys that grew up with the series playing, you know, ISS and, you know, playing all these games. Like Pez 1, Pro Evolution 1, whatever you want to call it, okay? Like, there's a brand new fan base out there now that basically just, the game might as well be just called, you know what I mean, five versions of Neymar 2023. That's basically what they play in the game. Like, it should be just called Dream Team 2023 for them. Because they don't care about Edit Mode. They don't care about Master League. They don't care about Become a Legend. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. Just because I care about something doesn't mean somebody else should care about it. Like, you have to accept that other people have other opinions. Like, that's just the way life works. Like, for example... I don't like the new Warzone. It's not for me. So I've stopped playing it. I'm not going to continue to play something I, I don't like. It's not for me. You know, it's just not, it's not, it's just not my style of game anymore. They took out Rebirth Island, man. So that's just not my style anymore. But Warzone 1 will always live on as one of my favorite ever multiplayer games. Like the crack I had on it. EFootball is that for a lot of people. I'm enjoying EFootball 2023. I enjoyed PES 2021. There's people that enjoyed PES 2021 and PES 18, PES 19 that aren't enjoying eFootball 2023 and have moved on. So it's not a case of like you have to force yourself to play it because at the moment eFootball 2023 is effectively Dream Team 2023. And I'll, I'll prove it to you within this video in 30 seconds, right? Think of a, a friend of yours or a mate of yours that you have that's a casual gamer, right? Or a semi-casual gamer that maybe doesn't game as much as you. They don't keep up to date with these videos or, you know, they're not part of a community like you are here. Um, subscribe to me or subscribe to any content creator that you watch uh, or whatever, right? If they were to ask you, okay, they see an advert for eFootball 20, 2023 and they ask you, oh, what's this, eFootball 2023? 
I guarantee you the quickest way to describe what eFootball 2023 is and what Dream Team is, is to basically say that it's a free-to-play ultimate team where you buy cards, you open packs, you play matches against other opponents. And that's where the model is at at the moment. You don't have to describe what Master League is, Become a Legend is, or Edit Mode is, because it's not there. You don't have to describe how to import a kit or how to import an option file, because the meta is or the mode isn't there yet. There's nothing there to do. So that is how you would describe it. And I know this because I have three or four of my friends that are very, very, very casual gamers. I'm talking about they might play a week at Christmas and they might play a couple of nights a month and that's it, right? That is it. And it's basically like, you know, Call of Duty, FIFA, whatever. And when they've like been playing eFootball sporadically for the last couple of weeks, like their interest in Dream Team is going in and being able to buy Neymar and put him in his team and go online and score nice goals in him like that's basically what they're attractive uh what attracts them to e-football instead of going on to fifa and getting smashed because they're not able to dictate or dedicate 40 hours a week to train up their team and have you know do all the objectives and keep up to date with it and the same with nba 2k so that's where the new fan base is coming across and to me i think everyone's welcome because i do think that when the game eventually gets to where it needs to get the more fans the better like that's just you know like obviously the best case scenario is that you've got everyone that enjoys the mobile version of the game and opening packs and getting six seven versions of Neymar and testing them all out which I enjoy to do but you've also got me who's enjoying Master League who's able to you know have an actual offline experience where I don't have to play like a sweat or a focus like I'm you know uh doing a surgery because like I'm going to concede if I don't watch this for a banger from Nepal boom open the laces but yeah that's just my thoughts on it lads right it is a bit of a rant. I do think that we need to kind of stand up as a community and, you know, obviously just be a little bit logical as to about what's going on. Like, obviously things are delayed. Obviously edit mode, if they were going to be, look, if they were going to be releasing edit mode tomorrow, do you not think that they'd put up a tweet? Similarly, how they put up a tweet, you know, when they were talking about that esports stuff or how they were talking about like their plays of the, plays of the year or how they're talking about like their new partners when they were sponsoring training grounds and training centers. They would want anything that will bring Pez legacy fans back or anyone, anything that will bring players that are fed up with FIFA back. If they could bring out even a master league light, you know, that was literally just like play three seasons and then you'd have to restart a season. Anything that's going to bring back legacy fans, they would be talking about. So I just think it's about using a bit of logic. Obviously, if there are things that I can know, that I know, you know, if I get to go ahead to talk about them, I can talk about them and I can talk about this and I can talk about that. But also at the end of the day, you know, I have to respect, um, you know, things that are told to me and respect when I'm able to speak about them. The same way if I go to a PEZ event or I go to E3 and I'm, you know, told things um, that's coming as part of, you know, being a community guy, um, you know, as part of a community or, you know, like with PEZ Uni, like, obviously, there's just a way that life works, man. You know, if you were to play an early version of the game, you can't really go on to YouTube and just start talking about it. Or if you were to, you know, a journalist and, or a movie reviewer and you go in to see an early, um, an early screening of, you know, any movie that's coming out a week in advance, you know, you have to respect what they want to talk, what you want to talk about. Like, you know, that's just the way life works. So, you know, you can't be breaking NDAs, you can't be breaking any of that sort of stuff or your, you know, access is going to be completely like shut down and that serves nobody so it's just about having the sweet spot of being logical as to what we think is going to come in v2.3 like gameplay is obviously a must i think for me i do think that we need to have a proper roadmap early doors man we need to have a proper roadmap and say look this is what we're thinking this is updated information this is where we're actually going to be doing things this is where we're going to be announcing things i'm going to have a video on a couple of predictions that i think is going to come um quite soon this guy stopped playing so i just started you know absolutely ba uh, blasting goals in but look let me know what you think lads obviously yeah it's a bit of a rant obviously um i'm just kind of a bit fed up man because look it's been i'm enjoying i'm caught in a hard place man because i'm really enjoying e football 2023 when it plays well yes i have frustrating days yes the connection can be iffy yes some of the matches that i play are like you know i want to throw my controller but when it flows well and it plays well, the game does have serious potential. But I just think that like we need to have a better roadmap of when things are going to be coming. And we need to know 
answers to the questions that we have. Like, we need to know answers just to see, right, okay, if somebody tells me I don't know about G, but if somebody tells me, right, this is coming here, it's going to take six months longer than we expected, but it's definitely going to be coming. That's different and better, I think. You know, that's why I just feel like if we had an actual roadmap, it would be, it would be, it would be really nice. So let me know what you think, but that's just it. I'm just trying to temper expectations, lads. I'm going to always keep it 100 with you. There's no point in me blowing smoke up your arses because you know exactly what the crack is all the time. We keep it 100 here. You know, we keep it, you know, factual. I, you know, I don't really like putting up clickbait shit. That was a bit of a satire at the, a bit, uh, bit sarcasm at the start of the video, but Look, it is what it is, man. Obviously, people are always going to want fake views and fake engagement and buying followers. And yeah, I mean, it is just it's just mad. Online is just a mad place. But look, we'll keep doing what we're doing. As I said, as long as I'm enjoying it and as long as I'm always enjoying it, you know, interacting with G lads, I'm going to be here. And I hope you stay with me for the journey and see where it goes, because I do truly believe that there is massive potential here. I just think they start need, they need to start hitting that potential a little bit more regularly now as we go into 2023 and, and, and go on from there into, you know, the likes of eFootball 2024 or wherever that's going to be. So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. I hope you'd enjoy this. And again, apologies for the rant. I know it's Christmas and I should be in a bit of better form, but uh, we will be doing a stream hopefully tomorrow um, when V2.3 is up. So I hope you guys will check that out and uh yeah until next time lads peace hope you enjoyed the video this will be a late upload so hope you enjoy it and uh yeah i'll talk to you in a bit don't forget to subscribe peace